we're going to have a go in this vid at making some text that looks like it's on fire a bit like this one so the first thing to do is get your new fireworks document open 400 wide 300 high and make sure that the color mode is set to rgb once you've done that your new document should look like this um can i just zoom in a minute there we go i'll just there we are so you can see what i'm doing um and we're going to set the background to be black so the first thing to do is to select our color and the color picker will pop up just click in the bottom left to select a black click ok and then go and grab your paint bucket which may might be hiding behind the gradient tool so click and hold this icon so you can select it and fill your background black now we're going to add some text so click on your text tool I'm using Cooper Standard. You can use a different one if you want, but this one's quite nice and large. Um, 100 points. Again, if you can't find it on the menu, just type it in. And the color is going to be white. There we go. So click on your canvas and start to type. I'm using capitals. And if your text isn't where you want it, click the Move tool and you can move it around. Now, before we can start adding effects to this, we need to rasterize it. So that would be under layer. Oh, by the way, before I do that, you can't see my layers menu here. So I'm just going to open it up. You can see if I do that. Let me just anchor this on. Where's my layers menu? There we go. You can see in my layers menu that I've just created a new fire layer. So select that layer and then go to layer, rasterize, and you'll get rasterize type. And that's all you have to do. Now to create the fire effect around the letters, so that it looks a bit blurry like this at first, we're going to use the smudge tool, which is the one directly underneath your paint bucket. Um, it might be showing as the blur or the sharpen tool. So again, click and hold and choose smudge tool and up here you can pick your brush size by typing in I'm going to use about 21 um, strength 50% mode normal that's fine for the moment and we're just going to go around the tops of the letters and click and drag to smudge them so it looks like it's on fire a bit create that sort of flame effect again this is personal preference you can make your brush smaller or bigger over here in brush size or by pressing the square brackets keys next to your P so the one directly next to your P makes the brush smaller the one on to the right of that makes the brush bigger so I'm just gonna go around this quite quickly just blurring it out a bit to give it that sort of flamey type effect I'll be quite quick you can do the tops, you can just do the bottoms, it's completely up to you. But that's going to do me for the moment. Um, and now, we go over here, still with our fire layer selected, and we use this sort of half black, half white circle. And we click that, and we choose colour balance. Now what this gives us is three options for balancing the colour, shadows, mid-tones, and highlights. So we're going to start with shadows, select that, and I'm going to drag this slider to, towards red so that this number changes to plus 70 or thereabouts. And if you watch the fire text, you'll see what's happening. It's going slightly red around the edges. Again, if you can't get exactly what you want, type it in here. I'm going to leave this one alone, but we're going to take the yellow one down to about minus 70. There we go. And you see what's happened with the shadows. It's gone slightly red and yellow. Next up, the midtones. We're going to do exactly the same thing there. So I'm just going to type these in. Plus 70 there. So just type 70 and minus 70 there. And you can see it's starting to look more fiery. Um, and finally, with highlights, plus 70 and minus 20. There we go. So I've got a fire effect. You can take the yellow deeper if you look at the just to give it more of a glow around the edge if you want 
and again it's a matter of personal preference so really have a play around with all these color balance settings and see which one you prefer so off you go and have a go at making some fire text <laughs>